This is how we make the moonshine. What are you doing? Loading up bottles, baby man. We got a big ass sale. Well, you remember that band that B sold the Tennessee whiskey? The CH. The CH, yeah. yeah. He never would tell us who they were. No. It was a protected secret or something. Right. Well, their record label, they want. 200 gallons of this stuff. 200 gallons? Yeah, bottled. Bottle. For the same price that we sold leather for? It's real, man. I'll take it. It's a 200 gallon order of 200 bucks a gallon. That don't take a genius. 200 times 200 is $40,000. For two old guys like us, that's a hell of a sale. It's a hell of a payday. The ghost town stuff, it should be done, shouldn't it? It should be. If it ain't, it's not our fault. The sea aged whiskey worked so well when it was on the shrimp boat. We came up with a design to do the same aging process on dry land. That's a plenty. That's all they got to do oh, right it's there. It's got to move right there. They've been rocking in the mountains in Ghost Town for months. There's no reason for it not to be top shelf, but we haven't tasted it to see. We got to get the liquor brought to us, though, if Daniel will go get it for us, because we got to go get more bottles. Well, I'll call old Daniel and see if he can get up there and do it. Go ahead, brother. Hey, we're up a stump, brother. OK. We need somebody to run over the mountain and pick up four of them barrels and bring them back over to us. Well, that won't be no problem. Meet us at the Red Barn up on Cosby. It'll be well worth you in just time. This brings me to another question now that you're getting the, the liquor over the mountain to us. After we get this bottled up, it's got to be tucked to Nashville to deliver it. How do you feel about having a night on the town in Nashville on us? Hell yeah. That'll be a trip worthwhile right there. That sounds like a plan. Uh, we'll see. Thank, Thank, you, Thank you, brother. All right. There we go. There's still a lot of moving parts and a lot of hoops to jump through here. In this business, you never count your chickens before they hatch till we put the whiskey in the people's possession and they give us the money. We don't have anything. I hear him coming. We've got an order for 200 gallons of our aged Tennessee whiskey. Let do it, boss. And they want it in bottles. Easy. I ain't in no position. Whoa, what you tell Gee? Hell, let's let her rest there. We'll pump her dry. We've not sampled any of this that we put on top of the mountain. We worked our tails off getting it up there. It better taste good. We've wasted a lot of damn work for nothing. It's going to take a while, ain't it? Even with the high tech here. Are we ready? Yep. All right. There you go, puss. Yeah, hell yeah. Oh, my, I couldn't be happier with that color. That looks good. Hopefully, that amusement ride did its bit. Oh, look there, I'm telling you, that looks just as fine as that sea aged liquor ever did. It sure does. I'll well, fill this one up, and then we'll get us a little tasty. All righty. Damn if it don't smell primo. That's as good as that other one, sure enough. It is. It's every bit as good. Looking at it, smelling of it, it's wonderful on the nose. But once you put your tongue to it, it's just like heaven on earth. This proves that the ghost town mountain aging is a success. And the fact that we got 200 damn gallons of it sold, that's the that's ultimate paid success. That's paid for it, so let's get to corking in a filling. You know, you can have children you're proud of. You can have a dog that you're proud of. Barrel number two's up. This is mine and Digger's baby. We're very proud of it. Every five one of them's how much, Mark? A gallon. $200. $200. So they're $40 a piece. And you go in the liquor store and you see bottles of liquor this size, it's way more than $40. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, maybe we should price it a little higher, but we want folks to taste this liquor. We like to get it out there to them. Boys, this is the last barrel. The people that are getting this whiskey is getting the best whiskey in the world. That stuff right there is what dreams is made of. And headaches. And nightmares if you get caught with it. Yeah. All right, now, Daniel, when you get down there, you've got the address. I've got it programmed it's, in my GPS. It's just a little old small warehouse. It's just got one little loading dock. Yep. You just back up there and just sit and wait. They'll, they'll get to you. We'll make her work. It ain't my first rodeo. It's a chore getting all these bottles filled up. We've done a day's work already. That shouldn't draw no attention at all. 
long beardy redneck and a damn four wheel drive Ford truck. Everybody's got one of them. He's still back there Cadillac and right behind us, ain't he? Yep, he's coming on with it. $40,000 sale at one lick. Popcorn would do damn somersets, wouldn't he? He would. We got all this liquor bottled up, 200 gallons worth, and that's time to send Daniel on to Nashville. He said, it's a big deal for me. He said, I ain't never hauled this much liquor in my life at one time. They ain't many people that has. We're traveling into town. We'll gas him up, and uh, it's up to him to get that to the destination. We're going to take these barrels, and we're going to put more Tennessee whiskey in them, get them back up on the mountain, and get them swinging again. That's crazy. One human being buying this much liquor. Of course, you know, big wheels like that, they probably know a lot of people that they want to keep greased up in their direction. You know, the thing about it is, you can get done with a jar of liquor what you can't get done with a oh, $100 yeah. bill. Uh-oh. Hattie boy, I don't want you to panic, but that black Yukon that just passed us... He's pulled in behind Daniel. He's behind Daniel now. This ain't no good, Hattie boy. No, no, no. Daniel is directly behind us with $40,000 worth of untaxed liquor. And the police is right behind Daniel. This is when the bottom falls out of your tummy. Well, he's pulling up to us, Hattie boy. They get on up here and pull over. I can't believe this, but let Daniel go, puss. Get your hands where they can see him, Hattie. Don't make them nervous. How you fellas doing today? Telling. Well, we're doing all right. What you hauling yeah. your barrels back here? Now, they ain't nothing in them barrels. They're just old barrels we got off So ain't no kind of liquor or anything? No, sir. No, sir. No, no sir. All right, can I get you to step out here for a minute? OK. Well, Me too, sir. Yeah, both of them come out here and talk Ain't no liquor or nothing illegal in the truck? No, sir. You're welcome to look. All right, just hang loose right here for just a second. I got another unit coming up here with me there. If you don't mind, step over here. In front of his car right there for me. Hands on the hood. Hands on the hood. Anything going to folks here me? No. Well, you know, they're going to smell like liquor. <laughs> that liquor that's in it. That's our pretty lamp. It's on the same day. Smell like liquor in there. They'll smell like liquor the rest of their life. Honestly, officer, if we thought that hauling around empty barrels would have been a problem, I promise you, we wouldn't have done it. Of course, you know what the first thing is, I think, when I see you. I know. Just remember, you're going to get lucky every damn time. I just got to get lucky one time, boys. All right, sir, there's the rest of your paperwork. Thank you. I got my own, boys. Oh, damn. That makes you feel like you've been kicked in the nuts, don't it? What the deal is, Daniel. Yeah, he went, he went on all right. You know, he's letting us go, but that's not the main issue here. I am ecstatic the fact that Daniel tweaked by. I ain't going to draw an easy breath now till Daniel gets back. No. Get on in here, Boone. I mean, son, son. Well, you know, Daniel looks like he's gained a little bit of weight. His chest is a little bit bigger than it used to be. He's either been working out or he's got some money hid in there. I've got a, a hell of a gift right there, you know. Cheers to that. I think I'm gonna get my drink of it right here too and see yeah. if I'm, I'm happy with it. Oh my, look at here. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with it. Boom, that's yours. No kidding. That right there, Daniel, that's what the dreams is made of, ain't it? Yep. Boys, every one of us could have very easily went to jail yesterday. Damn right. You know something? We didn't. Let's have a drink. 
Here's the freedom, boys. Anytime you've got a little setback, something goes wrong, you use that as a learning experience. You don't get angry, you don't try to fight back. You learn from your mistakes, that's how you get better.